Ba ba ba. I didn't put any product on my edges like at all not when I was braiding it I just tried to keep them out of the braid the ones that won't like make it you know the baby hairs the breakage they kind of mold together but yeah so I'm gonna weigh my edges hopefully I don't know if I brought Joe I don't know why I wouldn't bring Joe <laughs> but it is the morning so I'm in my best mood um, my boyfriend's being cranky, so I'm letting him be cranky. Mostly because I know that I'm... I'm crazy. <laughs> I love stressing him out. Like, literally, like, I just, like, left. Like, like, it's, like, really early in the morning. I just, like, left to go get my bag in the car. Like, I don't tell him that. Fuck you. Who are you? You can't ask me questions. I'm gonna unlock your door. I'm gonna rewalk your door. I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my coffee. I'm gonna start my podcast. And... I'm gonna let you worry about me. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, you might have. No, I'm just like, I'm just the worst person. But yeah, it's not like he got out of the. So, like, let's be real. I should have stayed out longer. Anyways, <laughs> aside from being the best girlfriend in the world, <laughs> I am hopefully going to get a lot of shit done today. Um, as I mentioned, I am listening to my favorite podcast of the moment, which is crazy because they're going through like a really weird rift. If you're into the Joe Budden podcast and you know what's going on, like please comment below so we can chat. Um, also, if you just like 90 Day Fiance as well, because that tell all was crazy, we can chat. Um, I love finding new people to talk about my obsessions because I don't have a lot of shows I like, but the ones I do, I get really like deep into <laughs> and emotionally invested. So yeah anyways I'm not gonna go too much into that because it might be vague to some people but yes um, I have a lot of things I need to shoot today specifically swimwear and I'm excited about it because um, old BF in there is like I'll take your pics like whenever I get done taking pics he's like oh you took your pictures and I'm like me like always like what are you fucking talking about and then like people all take them and I'm just like <sighs> Like, he doesn't have taste, you know what I mean? Like, God love him. But he has no taste, he has no idea about fashion, he has no idea about culture. He is just, like, um, I could find some items to personify him, but I don't want to be, I don't want to get come across misconstrued. <laughs> but yeah, he's just not, like, the artsy guy. Like, I used to have a man that, like, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. that is not what he was. He was, he was a mistake accident a happy accident for him weird moment in life for me but yeah anyways he would take the best photos of me but then he would also hold them hostage over me that's a different story ladies you know what the fuck i'm talking about you know that like difficult breakup like hey give that picture back like the, can i see you delete it out of your recently deleted like i'll fight for my my shit i'm sorry like i'm gonna fuck you ain't gonna put this he's dying dying out there mm -mm. Unless I'm getting a cut, call me Ray J. No. <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah. So he's gonna be my. We'll see what he does. I'm not even gonna put a name to it. But we'll see if he can snap a little picky pick today. Um, get some angles right. It's always very interesting to see the way people take pictures of you. It's always like, oh, okay. It's not even like you like me. It's like sometimes it's like, oh, do you know how to take a picture? And then on top of that, like, oh, look, you see me in a very favorable light. Like, thank you. This is, this isn't how I even photograph myself, <laughs> like, no. but yeah, so I'm excited about that, and then I am getting my COVID shot today, I'm a little nervous, it's at like 2 p.m. ish, 1.45 ish today, but as long as I'm Johnson Johnson, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be good, and then, um, just a lot of work to do, a lot of work, hotel arrangements, and going on a little trip, not a fun trip, I kind of decided to talk about it, just cause like, I do think I'm probably okay this is it I'm shallow I saw the hotel I saw the hotel and I was like well 
I know I'm going for a memorial, but this is a nice hotel, and I know I'm not gonna not vlog in it, so I might as well just like talk about what's happening and like be real. So yeah, like my grandfather died a few weeks back. He was lived a very long life. Um, he's in a better place. I'm very. I was I was sad about it, but now I'm kind of like at peace with it, kind of thing. And um, yeah, so we're going to have a memorial for him because he was a fire chief and we're going back to the city where it all happened, um, which is a very remote city in Wisconsin. It doesn't have an airport, so we'll be flying to Chicago. So I love Chicago. I love Chicago. I can say it one more time. I fucking love Chicago. It, the people, the food, the shopping, the atmosphere, the Great Lakes, like it's everything. Like I love Chicago. If you've never been to Chicago and you live somewhere near Chicago and you or you don't live near Chicago, fuck it. Go to Chicago. You'll have fun, especially in the summer. It's just like when you if you've never seen the Great Lakes, you will freak the fuck out because I was like this is a lake. Like the lakes that I've seen are like Texas man-made dams like fucking and like no I was like this water's blue guys like this isn't a lake I thought lake was like determined by like size and color that's how I know like oceans and shit size and color yeah no I was like brown and small wait no this was like a fucking sea to me bro I was like woo so I'll go there and it's just like a day trip but I'm excited to see my family like I know that this is a and it's weird because my family like there's some funerals I didn't go to and I cannot speak on and I wish I had went but I couldn't have gone anyways and that messed up closure for me personally and now I'm going to this one and on this side of family we really only had like celebrations of life you know like balloons releasing and like like everyone's kind of like it sounds kind of weird I don't know how your family is I don't I don't talk about this kind of stuff with people so maybe it's not maybe it's normal um not so much of a will but like kind of like a this is what I want y'all to do don't mess it up <laughs> like when it comes to that so um like down to a dress color like literally I've been told what color and type of dress I needed to wear um and I I'm down for it they, it makes it so much easier and I'm definitely going to do the same thing when it becomes time and as my taste becomes more solidified because right now mine would have like lasers and it would be stupid like I'm just gonna wait a few more years to like fully find me and then we'll we'll make those arrangements um but yeah so uh yeah he knows what he wants and I love that for him so he's a really fashionable dude I'm gonna try and find like something like nice we're not wearing black I don't think so that's kind of cool and I don't think I've ever worn black to a funeral actually ever so I'm actually happy to keep that going but yeah I'm gonna bring you guys along for very very little bit just to travel just the aesthetics um, maybe if there's a nice cake or food um, but that's about it it's it's but I did want to like I didn't want to go there and like Instagram shit and like be like a total like thought and like not mention like why I'm there it's like oh she was there for her grandfather's like you know it's just kind of like weird and if you don't know how you roll as a family you're probably like the fuck is wrong with you like you detached soulless cretin which we are <laughs> but anyways yeah that's what's going on okay so i'm gonna start getting ready i just picked up my skincare out of my car i'm just gonna like get ready and enjoy myself and try and find some gel it's all you can do Um, just kind of wanted to show you the next little project I'm working on with Medicube. So um, I'm going to be doing a two-week trial of their Sika line and their deep um, vitamin C ampule. And they also sent me their um, body wash, which is super, super sweet. Um, I've heard really good things about Sika, so I'm actually really, really excited. They sent me their um, Super Sika water and toner. Their Super Sika Water and Cream, Super Sika Ampule, and then of course the Vitamin C Ampules. I'm really excited to get back to my Vitamin C for my dark spots. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys. I'll be trying these for two weeks and then I will be giving you an update. It's all about um, your skin barrier and everyone knows that I've ruined my skin barrier a couple months ago. So I'm really excited to see what this will do for me.
and I actually ruined it um, using vitamin C completely wrong. So um, I'm kind of ready to dip my toe back in and hopefully have a really, really great experience. I wanted to give you guys a quick look at my skin in natural light so we can have a proper before picture um, before I start my treatment. Actually, I just did it for the first time, so this is technically... 10 seconds after <laughs> my first round of using the toner and um, the both ampules and then the water cream and so far I'm liking it. everything's really light and nice so I really like that um, my SPF went on really good and I feel good it feels nice um, but this is my skin the few not a few I have a lot of dark marks discoloration post acne um scarring this pimple just popped um popped in the shower um which was really annoying it was like bleeding forever and then my forehead's been clearing up probably the fastest probably because it is the oilier part of my skin and my cheeks are a lot drier so um they don't heal as quickly but yeah this is a a good before and then um yeah, we'll see about the after. Was it OG? OG. I wanted to follow up about the whole MediCube thing. We are now two weeks into the future. Um, and I'm so excited because I've actually seen really, really good improvement. And I want to show you guys the whole shebang. So I just washed my face, um, just a nice, simple, creamy cleanser. And then next I'm going to use my toner, the Medicube Super Seco Water and Toner. This is for all skin types. It's very lightweight, very refreshing. I just take a couple of drops into my hands. So I do pretty much all of my toners and I just, directly onto my face I'm a big toner essence kind of person and this one has like that hybrid feeling it does have like a little weight to it it's not just like completely watery like when you feel it, it does have like a bit of like a moisturizing aspect to it which I really really like and it just sinks right in perfect first step after toner i use the deep vita c ampule this is a vitamin c um, serum and i love that it comes in three different like pa packages packaging um number one it just keeps it potent and super super fresh and then number two dark packaging you have that's a must for vitamin c so i've been using this every single day just about, I'm at, I think I'm actually at the end of my first one. This probably gonna be like my last, or tomorrow will be my last um, of this specific bottle. So it does last about two weeks, maybe two and a half now um, per bottle, and you would get three. So that's pretty good. You're getting over a month's supply. And I'm really in love with this just because like number one the texture is super smooth it goes on really lovely it does have a slight almost medicated scent which I think is funny almost everything they, that I've received from them has like it's not a bad smell but it's just like slightly medicinal and herbal um, which I'm a fan of because I feel like I'm not getting like filler really honestly i don't even have to say much about this as far as it fading hyperpigmentation and dark spots because i think you will definitely see the difference in before and after like i'm really really impressed especially this side of my face like it's coming a really long way you guys know how bad my acne was like a couple months ago and then like the scarring after acne dude like i just feel so like i just feel like i'm seeing the light at the end of, end of the tunnel but like now even more so because within two weeks I've seen such a difference because I have been off vitamin C. If you see my sensitive skincare routine when I told you all about my chemical burn, it's because I used vitamin C with too many exfoliants. So be very, very careful when you are using vitamin C. Um, I use everything else in my routine is going to be super, super simple um, because this, this is all you need when it comes to 
your day-to-day -day wear. So I'll do vitamin C, my SPF, those are the only like big skincare things I have on my skin during the day. Um, I don't try to overload it too, too much with serums. That's what I use the nighttime routine for. Um, but honestly, I'm really impressed with this. Like my skin has just been glowing and bright, like the corners of my nose, the discoloration around my mouth. Like it's it's all brightening up, and I'm just I'm just really happy. So next, you have the Medicube Super Sika Ampule. And this I put on after, and I love this packaging because it literally, like, you close it, and then it pumps up the amount that you need for your next application, so I can't overuse it, which is great because I do um, I have a tendency to do that, um, be a little heavy-handed, and then go through products super quickly. This is a nice moisturizing serum. And then next, I'm gonna seal it all in with the Medicube Super Seco Water In Cream. This is probably the one thing that I'm not super duper excited about, just cause like, sometimes throughout the day, I'll want a little more hydration. I'll be reaching for like a, a moisturizing spray sometimes because it is very lightweight. It's a lightweight gel. And although I do have combo skin and so my skin is really oily, like on the oily parts of my skin, amazing. But on my cheeks where I am a little drier, I definitely, um, after a few hours, I feel the difference. So that's probably the one product that I could leave, but everything else I'm taking. One thing I did notice though with this is my SPF goes on a lot better. Like, um, if you saw maybe my past vlog number eight, I was um, testing out the Bliss Block Star, and it's a bit of a like a cast, and it's really weird. I always thought like it might just be the the SPF, but actually, after using this with the Block Star, I have no white cast with this. So that is one thing that like when I no, I'm not gonna wear makeup that day. I will reach for this because I know I won't have a white cast with it, which I, I can't explain the science of why I don't have a white cast. I just know with this, I don't have a white cast and I do love that. So it's nice for day to, um, daytime, but at night I do need that like moisture. So today is Wednesday, off midweek off day, my favorite day of the week, love it. Um, and I've had my coffee, I've gotten ready. Um, I haven't done my makeup yet, but I'm gonna chill on that for a sec because um, I wanted to do a little DIY project. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing, but basically I am just plastering over um, a glass face that I have. I just think the glass just looks, I mean, it's from the dollar store, so it is cheap, but it just isn't fitting. And I think it would be cool to see it plastered over, kind of white and gorgeous. Um, and I saw Nikki, um, of, oh God, what is her channel called now? She's Nikki Thought on, I just hate calling her Nikki Thought because I'm like, she's like Shane, but <laughs> she's Ducky Thought's, um, sister. Um, I've been following Nikki five ever, like, like I've, I have followed Nikki for so fucking long. So when I saw her doing this, I was like, oh good DIY so totally snatching that from her and right now I'm listening to the Joe Budden podcast just chilling enjoying myself um and I'm actually having a really good hair day this is my braid out I do have a braid out tutorial that I might actually redo um not really redo but update um one day if you guys like this hairstyle let me know um but yeah I definitely think I'm gonna get into a groove with how I do my hair now um just because on my off days, I, I like woke up and I literally got ready in like an hour, like fully ready, did my laundry, like everything by nine. So I was really, really happy about that. So I think, um, yeah, having a braid out just, oh my God, it saves so much time. But yeah, let's get to plastering. Hopefully I do it right and it looks really cute. And I will link everything down below that you need. This is a super inexpensive DIY if you just want to update um, some of your um, old glassware or if like someone's bought you flowers and they came in a vase and you're just like, eh, not my style. You can kind of make it your style. 
Can you walk life in my shoes? Can you see the things I do? Can you tell me what you see and then deny my words are true? Can you walk life in my shoes? Can you see the things I do? Can you tell me what you see and then deny my words are true? Oh, hello, Papa. Every day with you is something new. Never know just what you're about. To scream and shout Can you walk life in my shoes? Can you see the things I do? Can you tell me what you see And then deny my words are true? Can you walk life in my shoes? Can you see the Okay, so Um, I just finished taking pictures I'm okay, she Haven't been here in a minute Um so it was nice to come back and it's such a beautiful day it started out really cold like 40 something degrees and now it's like it's still like in the 50s but this weather if you guys have a weather blazer weather anything oh my god they are so hot like i understand why people don't do the all weather outfit because it is nuts how hot it gets like like i'm very hot natured like 80 degrees is where i thrive but it's I'm in shorts. Let me let me put some perspective on it. I'm in coochie cutters. I'm on my period. I'm so like, what the fuck? I can't wait to take these off. But I think I got what I wanted. We'll see. It's a good hair day, so it's a lot easier. Like a hundred percent easier. And honestly, anyone who has curly hair, natural hair, hair that isn't pin straight and perfect all the time, like it is so much harder to get photos. And I don't think people talk about it enough like I know that natural hair models have it hard out here like it is hard like the wind the the way like my face looks completely different when my hair is slick like people have told me that I can't obviously see it like your cheekbones just get lost in your hair so I feel it girl like if you just only take pictures with your hair up like I know I get it I totally feel it because like it's hard like it's it's a totally different skill um but you know what if you're a natural haired lady you should definitely be and like really good at modeling you should definitely be doing like modeling classes because i would be very interested i would love i don't know if there's someone on youtube that does that like you know like link her please <laughs> or him or him um but yeah so i'm gonna go get a snack a whole meal and a half i'm so hungry um, I do want something non-dairy because I just can't. I broke out in a rash. I meant to show you guys earlier, but you can kind of see like all this texture. It's underneath my chin. It's everywhere. Literally had a uh, baked potato with sour cream and cheese in it, which I meant to like tell the DoorDash like to ask for that, but I totally forgot. And I was like, oh fuck, it might come with that. And then I was just so hungry I couldn't resist. Um, I immediately my face started getting hot while I was eating it, and then it just started to break out like my face was i was scratching my face before i finished my meal like it's that intense so um i always talk about going dairy free when it comes to like skincare routine if you are struggling with like chronic chronic acne it just won't go away it's probably dairy in your diet um also if it upsets your stomach uh, it's probably also um an acne thing um too so cutting it out of your diet is something that i do recommend but you have to be fucking real about it like you can't the first time you go back and forth like it, it'll be okay the first few times but once you take months off of dairy it your body will reject it like the play like this is the first time this has happened to me but it's not unusual for my face to get hot and itchy this is the first time that it's actually broken out in like a full-on like I have like a whole beard of whiteheads basically that's the only way I can like really describe it and the fact that's like under my jaw it literally is like outlining like my lymph nodes like right around here and then like literally anywhere you see anyone like goo shot or like do their like lymph node whatever the fuck it's like my body's trying to get rid of it so just be aware because people talk about like going dairy free and this and that but if you know you're the kind of person that can't stick with it or you stick with stuff and then like if you're like me that like I stick with stuff and then I dick I'll have like a sneaky sneaky link with some cheese and like yeah I'll fuck myself up and it just um it is what it is I've been taking Zyrtec a couple nights honestly low-key for the sleep the sleep I get on Zyrtec is unreal um but also because I'm allergic to it um 
so yeah just a little blurb about that because people talk about shit like oh it's so easy but like if you're easily tempted like it will it will affect you and it'll only get worse as your intolerance to it builds um but yeah so that's what i'm going for i'm just going to the shopping center near my house um i don't oh it's a yellow light now the fuck oh damn i could have gone i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm a pussy like but really i am um but yeah i don't know if i want chick-fil-a if i want raising canes um I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let me be healthy. I'm going to go to Panera. I'm going to get like a really, really good salad. Can I do um, tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, and the um, Mardi Gras mustard? Full update of the pottery, how it's going. It's like almost, almost dry, but I love the way it's drying. I love the texture. It just looks so sick. It's better than I expected, so I'm really happy. And I'm definitely looking around my house for more stuff to plaster. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like, what can I do next? Um, I actually do have something I just thought of. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'll do it later though. I did want to shout out this um, black owned candle company, Joe and Monroe Home and Body. This candle smells amazing. The pineapple sage. I also like the Palo, um, Palo Santo. And it has like the crackle wicks. And it just, it's such a luxurious scent. These are really worth it. Okay, sorry, my towel was just gonna beat air. Um, so it's the end of the day. I did want to give you a little update on the waist trainer. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I just put it on to sit in the car um, because it's... I don't think it does anything for your waist. I think it does help, like, if you don't sweat, it does help you sweat in your midsection. Um, but posture, which is really the main reason I got it, I do really like it because it's like, it's literally like training wheels for posture. It's like, you can kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like, like lean back and it kind of like stilts you up, which is so like, so embarrassing to say I have really bad posture, so I need it. Um, but I, I just, oh, I just like to wear, it really does feel good on my back and like, oh, I'm like stretching it right now. It just feels so good. So did want to give you an update on that. I don't think I've lost any inches on my waist. I honestly haven't measured um, and I haven't been working out a ton, 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 ton since um, that last video, but I did just want to give you a little update. Um, and then I'll give you updates on a few other things tomorrow when it's sunlight again, because it's in the night. I just posted my skin fix video. So yeah, but I did get a cool little package from Coast. And then I did want to show you how that pottery turned out, but we will do that tomorrow. And I hope you have a good night's rest or this next blink is just really good to you. And we'll see you tomorrow. need to see you tonight. Had me for a minute, expectations high But a fuck nigga can't keep up his disguise Why you trying to talk, can't you see I'm tired? I don't need to hear you fucking testify Always stay up late, all you do